Yosh Armament and I just got back from the movies. And yeah, I wore my YouTube shirt. <laughs> so I watched one of the Bob Marley movie and I'm ready to give my review. Let's go. In order to better critique this movie, I will divide my comments in segments or categories. And the first category is authenticity. The film, in my opinion, was quite authentic. It was very factual. It showed that the people behind the camera actually did their research. A few highlights for me are one, the political and social situation in Jamaica. It was very dire. And as a Jamaican watching, knowing that there are other people in the cinema behind me, I felt really bad, I suppose, if I may say, to show this bad side of my country. But it's very authentic. It is what it is. I also appreciate the fact that they showed the situation in Trenchtown, Bob Marley's influence on the world, his tours, his, his moving to London, the situation with Rita when he got shot, when Rita got shot. There were so many things happening that really brought across the idea that this is very much true. And the icing on the cake for me was the visual mention of Air Jamaica or old uh, airline company. Our second category is homage. I believe that the film did justice to Bob Marley, where it portrayed his message, what he stood for. It showed a general sum of his life, and I believe that if he were to have seen the film, he would have been pleased because for those people who do not know him, by seeing the film, he would have had an idea of who this person is, what he stands for, and his ideologies and beliefs, and I believe that the film really captured that. Our third category is music. This is perhaps the best aspect of the movie, if I may say so, because all the choices of music that they use, the reggae, every single thing, when the songs came in, the rhythm, the background music, the ambiance, it was simply perfect, incredible. That for me is a 10 out of 10. Number four, actors. I believe that the actors generally portray their roles correctly. There were moments where they're acting wasn't perfect, but I think that is not because of the actors, but maybe the script, I'm not sure, but nonetheless, relatively good. Number five, <laughs> language. Here, I cannot comment too much because I watched the film in French. However, there were moments where I could hear Patois, for example, when they were singing, or when they said certain things, or when there were certain moments where they spoke entirely in Patois. For those moments, it was simply beautiful. The language was quite authentic. I haven't done any research, so I don't know if they are Jamaican or if they have any Jamaican influence, but I believe that the actors did a wonderful job conveying the Jamaican accent. I've seen so many movies that butcher the Jamaican accent. I have a video right here which you may want to see what I'm talking about. And in fact, there's one thing that is quite curious though. I don't know if when Bob Marley, the actor, was singing, if that was his voice or if that was really Bob Marley's voice. If that's his voice, he did a spectacular job. 11 out of 10. Now, let's talk about the negatives. The biggest drawback of the film for me is the fact that it felt rushed. There was just not enough build-up. They just rushed everything and tried to compact too many different ideas and events in this one movie. And there was a scene where Bob Marley um, and Rita had a fight. And Bob Marley was portrayed as being jealous. I knew that he is said to have been with many people. <laughs> But I didn't know, know that he was really jealous or aggressive when he beat up this gentleman, his friend. That was pretty weird for me. And there were other scenes that seemed completely movie. So it was just for entertainment. That I didn't really like. But then again, it's a movie and not a biography or a documentary. So of course these changes are expected. The second thing I don't like is that with the rush, they rely too much on Bob Marley's fame. So I think they were just riding on Bob Marley's fame. But if you were to logically critique the film, there would have been so many problems. So they skipped a few details, they over-exaggerated some things, and based on our love of him, we ignore certain things and we, we just feel happy that we got a film about Bob Marley and it's good, but there's this good vibe, this good feeling. And finally, the last negative point for me is that when they tried to touch on some serious moments, it did not sell quite well for me because the general ambiance of, of the movie is calm, it's relaxing, it's good vibes, reggae. And then moving from that, they just go into a sad scene or an emotional scene. I don't believe that that's a good transition. Nonetheless, entertainment-wise, it's good. Having people appreciate Bob Marley, it's good. This message was brought across. For me, an overall score would be 7 out of 10 or 7.5. And a 7, that's really good. It's something I would 
recommend out of the love that I have for it and it it came across well. But anyways, with that said, that's all. If you've watched the movie, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And yeah, like, subscribe, share, and that's you next time. Ciao, ciao.